Unsettling news today about a product in our daily lives. The government says that a chemical used to make styrofoam coffee cups and takeout containers and insulate homes could possibly cause cancer. We wanted to know more. Jim Avila has a reality check. They are everywhere and last forever. The infamous styrofoam cups with a garbage dump half-life of 500 years now possibly linked to cancer risks. The National Institutes of Health said today there is mounting evidence that styrene, a component of that little white cup, may cause leukemia and lymphomas. In fact, Dr. Philip Blandrigan at Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York says he would advise pregnant women and small children to switch to glass and ceramic. As a pediatrician, um, I'm in the business of urging caution, and I think this is a case where it's reasonable to urge caution even while the data are incomplete. So what does this mean for my coffee cup? Should I stop drinking from styrofoam? The makers of styrofoam said today's announcement is completely unjustified by the latest science. But the government says animal testing suggests a cancer link. And when new studies are complete, the government anticipates styrene will be listed as a human carcinogen. The doctors we talked to gave a qualified yes, avoid styrofoam cups. Could hot drinks be more dangerous than cold in styrofoam? It's possible because a study has shown heat can cause more leaching of the chemicals into a drink. Are there building materials in my house I should change? The highest risk is for workers who manufacture those products. The risk is much lower for people who live around them. So why is the government telling me this? Dr. Landrigan again. It makes sense for people in their personal lives to minimize their exposure, even though we can't precisely quantify the risk that's associated with something like drinking a cup of coffee out of a styrofoam cup. So for now, it's coffee with care. Jim Avila, ABC News, New York.